So I started off using mesh cam because I thought that's what Carbide 3D recommended, but it turns out that's only for the Nomad. So then I thought, well, I am familiar with SketchUp. This is really what I want to do is draw stuff in SketchUp and then do 3D milling with the Shapeoko in there. If I can export to DXF or SVG files, which require plugins. I played around with that for a while before finally I just kind of went straight to Carbide Create and found that I can save my file as a carbide create file and export directly as G code to carbide motion, which is exactly what carbide 3D intended. And this is really the path that you need to do that. The left side I haven't really replicated, but the .c2d file to the .egc file from carbide create to carbide motion is what you need for your first project. Pretty straightforward. The other left side I will figure out later and show you how to do it when I do. Carbide create is pretty good software for a basic. 2D milling or VCAR project, so go with that first. Yes, I am listening to Eye of the Tiger. This is our first test with the Shapeoko. I've gotten it to work a little bit. Uh, uh, my test is a Ohio State Block O. And um, I'm learning a lot. Uh, there's a couple of very obvious errors that I'm making right off the bat. The first thing was just to figure out what software path to use. And I'll have some inclusion of a diagram of all the different file names that you need to translate from software tool to software tool. It's not incredibly clear. I don't understand why anybody's never drawn that before, but um, maybe they have. I just haven't been able to find it. So hopefully I'll be your source for that. Um, I'm going to zero this guy out and then I'll show you how it works. Right now everything's just kind of thrown together. It's, it's all very temporary. The power cord to the router plugs in. Um, maybe I'm missing something, but the Basically, you turn the Shapeoko on and off by unplugging it and plugging it back in. So I'm going to build a switch panel for that. Uh, and also the same thing for the router. The router can be plugged in and then you turn it on here on the unit. Um, you can still adjust the router speed on the dial here on the unit. Uh, but I'll figure out a way to at least have it plugged in and then I can just switch it on and off. And the next thing I'd like to do to prepare this thing to make it a little bit more user-friendly is mount it up on a shelf with the pullout underneath that's got the computer and everything and all the power supplies. And that way it's all self-contained and then I can build a shield around it for dust collection and things like that. But I'm going to go ahead and zero this thing out. I've got this really kind of cheesy nail down here with a scrap piece of wood and I'm just using a couple clamps to keep it in place. And uh, you know, we'll see how this works. But um, the cool part is it works. I mean, it just works. It, it's not completely turnkey out of the box works. You still got a, there's a bit of a learning curve to it, but if you're halfway smart, it's pretty easy to figure out. And uh, luckily there's enough of a community on YouTube. And if you Google hard enough, you can find these things. So I'll try to, uh, make the path that I took as clear as possible and clean it up as I go so that the next guy who follows what I'm doing can say, okay, I just need to do step one, step two, step three, and I'm done. I'm, I'm making stuff in Shapeco's. Let's go. So 
the first thing I'm going to do is lower the um, bit to touch the wood. Because um, my file, I think I made some errors in my file. So I have two steps. One where I carve around the block O first, and then I go in and I mill out the center. For some reason, the carving around the O is really deep, and then the center I made um, really shallow. So I'm going to hover this thing right over this, and I think it'll cut. But I'm going to turn it on first and just see what it does. I wouldn't be surprised if it leaves a path as it finds its way over there, but we'll make it work. And we're done. So you can see it'd be nice to be able to switch the tool on and off automatically with the code because it's just still sitting there running even though the code's done. So there we go. Let's see how it did. So it worked. This was my first attempt. That was a, so ignore that, but. Hey, look at that. That's a block O. That's my first Shape Oco project. Go Bucks. Okay, so there's a couple other things I'm trying to figure out here. Um, I don't think the software Carbride Motion has a return to zero. So I'm manually doing that. It'd be really nice if there's just a button that like return to zero. Maybe it's in there. I haven't found it yet. There's a couple other things that are immediately apparent. Um, obviously, my clamping method is pretty lame. Um, it would be really cool to make an MFT style table for this. Um, if you're familiar with that, it's, uh, I think it's a term taken from Festool. Festool has a workbench, they call it MFT. I can't remember what it means, a multifunction table or something like that, but it's a table with equally spaced one inch holes that have been uh, routed sort of chamfered edge and you can slip clamps through them and use that surface for anything you're doing with woodworking and I think it'd be really functional to have that here be even cooler to have it out of aluminum so I'll see I'll look into that it'd be kind of nice to replace this MDF surface the waste board they call it with something like that but for now, let's try this. Yeah. I am a fan of the shape poker that is. Uh, this is so cool. Um, so another thing I'm learning is squaring up the workpiece. Um, you know, I just ran it parallel to the edge and I'm not sure if this is entirely aligned with the edges of this piece of wood. But um, it's okay, we're learning. I'll probably just fix this up. This is a scrap piece. This is actually a shelf that came out of my childhood bedroom that I've had laying around for a long time. So I'll square up this piece of wood and keep that. And I've got another piece here. I'm going to make another.
success. Look at that. And if you count this one. <laughs> now, if I can get this nailed down, you know, I mean, I, I got small line production going on here. This is pretty sweet. Thank you.